Morning, Mikael. Morning. Um, you touched on it there that, you know, as a former Arsenal player, you know how big the fixture is. So d- does it hurt you that you, you've not been able to win one as a manager quite yet? Yes, we played twice. Um, they've been really tight games, decided by some details. But hopefully we can change that um, on Sunday and, and get the first one in. Given where both teams are on the table and with no fans obviously in the stadium on Sunday, does this game mean as much as other North London derbies you've been involved in? Well, I think it does. You don't feel that energy and that passion from the fans, which is the biggest shame because that's what creates... Um, around the fixture, um, the special feelings and, and moments. But we know how the fans, they're going to be behind the, the TV, they're going to be supporting us, they're going to be cheering for us, and hopefully we can give them a moment of happiness. Uh, Thomas Partey came off injured in the defeat at Spurs earlier in the season. Looking back on that now, was it a mistake almost to, to rush him back for that game, do you think? No, because he ticked every box uh, to be able to, to play on that game. Um, after every injury, there is a risk for a period, whether it is five days, a week, two weeks, three weeks, depending on the load that the player is exposed to. But it was a really specific action when he just overstretched the area going into the floor, got trapped by his foot. And that's that when he felt, um, again, that before that you could not notice that he was away. Um, and easy now it would be easy to say yeah we made a mistake but who knows what would have happened if, if he would have played the next game or he would have come off the bench and played 30 minutes we don't know at this time around his minutes seem to have been managed to get him back up to speed uh, he spoke to us before the, the Olympiacos game and said we haven't seen the best of him in England yet do you think he's getting close to the best Thomas Partey I think so. I think uh, rhythm-wise, he has struggled a little bit in the last few weeks because he hasn't had uh, enough training session, enough preparation, and the league is so demanding. But you can see his quality. You you can see the the presence that um, and the and the special qualities that he provides to the team when he's on that pitch. and I think it's just a, a fact of games, getting some chemistry and understanding with his teammates and getting as fit as he, he possibly can. And then just finally, um, on Spurs themselves, I think you could highlight probably three or four players that could potentially win the game for them on Sunday. But with Gareth Bale, he's now back in form, but you would have played against him during his first run at Spurs where he was absolutely flying, wasn't he? Yeah. How, how impressive is it that he's still at that level over such a long period of time? Well, already to sustain that level over that period of time, it's uh, incredibly difficult. And I think for creative players, it's even more because obviously the demands um, that they have all the time is to win football matches by themselves. And individually to do that with the level of organization, detail and preparation that is these days uh, becomes extremely difficult. I think uh, as well, the way he's come back obviously is married to the player because he's shown that he wants to do it again. But as well, I think... uh, the club and the manager and the coaching staff that probably they find a way uh, to get the best out of him when uh, people thought that um, it wasn't the case and and I think that's uh, what good managers do on players. Right, thanks Miguel. Good luck on Sunday. Thank you. Thanks Mark. That was 10.30 UK Friday. Now to...